Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I am going to be doing an e.l.f. try on haul. We're doing it in a little bit of a different fashion. The final look is going to be a surprise. Really exciting news, today's video is actually sponsored by e.l.f. Which came just in time because I literally was actually going to make a giant order of a e.l.f. to do a video for you guys. And then this opportunity came and I was like, oh, so perfect. I used to buy e.l.f all the time back in the day, you know, when I had no money. Back when their website was eyeslipspace.com. That is how long I have been a fan of e.l.f. And what I've always really appreciated about e.l.f. is that they jumped on very popular makeup trends, popular makeup items, and made them at a more affordable price, which I love. So I've always gone to e.l.f. when it came to wanting to try a new trend and not wanting to shell out the money for it, you know, so you could be extra without paying extra. And just so you know, all of the products from e.l.f., they are look good, feel good, meaning all their formulas are 100% vegan, cruelty-free, and made it without like nasty, bad-for-you ingredients. And you know, for the most part, with all of my experience with e.l.f., I really do feel like they make quality products at a really ridiculously affordable price. They just know what they're doing with beauty. It's crazy. By the way, make sure you stick around because I'm going to throw a giveaway in this video. So keep Right, so I have a lot of stuff and it's been a long time since I've done a full face of e.l.f. So I'm really excited. These products are a mixture of things that I already own and then also some items that they provided for me for this video. I got to choose all that I wanted to try. So lots of good stuff, you guys. So by the way, it is their 16th birthday. So they actually have a feature on their website where you can get like triple points if you're a member of their program. If you shop any of their like top 16 most loved, most hyped products, which is the stuff you're gonna wanna buy because you know those are good and <laughs> they're hyped up. So we're gonna start off with a face cream. I have very dry skin, so I wanted to try the e.l.f. Holy Hydration Face Cream. So this item is actually part of their 16 most hyped products. So I've never tried it before. I was very interested in the page to begin with because I wanted to try the best of the best. Oh, this feels very nice. It's not like super jelly like I was hoping it wouldn't be. So that's nice. I did not moisturize, so this is perfect. And it's going on over the skin really smooth. Ooh, you know what? I really like how that feels. Feels super great. So this is a nice affordable little hydrator here. And the packaging is just really sleek and cute. Wow. Elf amazes me. They really do. Okay, so I picked up a couple primers. Since it's their 16th birthday, they actually have a few Sweet 16 sets, which might be the giveaway. I don't know. I picked up the As If Priming set. So it comes with their Poreless Putty Primer, which is amazing. I already have this. And a Makeup Mist and Set, which I will use at the end of the video but I do want to use the poreless putty primer because it's amazing I have one of my own and I have a backup now uh, but I did also pick up the jelly pop dew primer because it looks gorgeous and I've also heard a lot of amazing things I believe this is also one of their best-selling products yeah it is so I guess elf just makes bomb primers Ooh, you guys how pretty is that that's what it looks like oh yeah so it's one of those like gel primers that have a little bit of a tackier base but this isn't super sticky like some other ones that feels feels really nice. I want to try this too. Don't have to be another day, but I really like that. But we're going to go into the classic poreless putty primer. They also have a matte one and a hydrating one. I prefer it over the 20 times more expensive counterpart to this. I really do feel like this is moisturizing as well for my dry skin and it really creates a smooth canvas. Now this is also, of course, one of their best selling products because it's so good you guys i'm not exaggerating i really enjoy this primer okay so i got my first ever foundation from elf i've never tried it i don't even know if this is my color this is the flawless satin foundation i have mine in sand neutral undertones i really did just get this so i could say it's a full face it's not something i was hunting to try but i figured i might as well so hopefully this is the right shade it's not super watery this may or may not work ah, it's not a terrible shade match I've been doing good guys ordering foundations online. We've all been decent trades and I just like take wild guesses. Ooh, I kind of like how this feels. I'm gonna zoom in closer so you can get a better look. This definitely turned out way better than I was expecting. <laughs> I didn't know what to expect because I never really hear too much about e.l.f. foundations, but for a few bucks, this is really nice. It's kind of like a demi-matte finish. It's really natural. I guess it's more of a satin finish, like it says. More of a medium coverage, and it looks kind of nice, you guys. <laughs> I like this. It's very lightweight. 
We'll have to see how it wears, but the next item that I picked out is the Instant Lift Brow Pencil. I got mine in the shade Neutral Brown. I used this back in the day. It's been a few years. This is a very popular product from e.l.f. and for good reason. It's a cheap, good brow pencil. So it has a spoolie on one end, which we all need, and then it's just, of course, like your typical regular pencil. I believe it's like 2 to $3. Honestly, why do I spend $20? on eyebrow pencils because this really does just get the job done. Okay, I can't lie. This is kind of bomb and I love this color. It's not too warm and it really just like naturally shaded in and defined my brows. It has like almost a little bit of waxiness to this where it gives my brows a little bit of control. Like I said, it's been years since I've used this product and I probably just didn't know how to do my brows back then <laughs> anyways. But hey, this is a really nice option. Okay, so next we're gonna move into concealers. I've had these guys for a while. Their camo concealers are top notch of the drugstore, if you ask me. They definitely have one of the best options. It's a very consistent, well-rounded concealer. So I have both finishes. So they have a matte one and they have one that's not matte. I think I prefer the matte one, but Ideally, I like to mix both. It's kind of the best of both worlds. Today, I'm just using the regular camo concealer, not the hydrating one. I just feel like I get a little bit more coverage. And I mix two shades. So I have a really light one in medium peach, and then I have medium beige as a darker one. I just feel like this creates the best kind of color that I'm looking for. This is just such a solid concealer. As you can see, it really is covering my under eyes. And if you are not a fan of matte concealers at all, of course, the hydrating one is a great way to go, but if you're looking for the perfect in-between, I really enjoy mixing the two formulas. And then the matte one, I wear for kind of just heavy-duty kind of days, like today. I feel like going full glam today, but you don't have to. You can still get like super natural looks, but it's hard to find a good drugstore brand to get really glam looks with, so that's what I'm tossing out today, you guys. Balm concealer, it's really good. Um, I do have a new setting powder to try. This was on their best sellers list. And and this is the Halo Glow Setting Powder. I got mine in the shade Medium. That's what it looked like I needed online. This is definitely a fine color for setting all over the face. For the under eyes, I think I would prefer something a bit more bright. So if you're around my shade and you're looking to order this, thought that would be helpful. I mean, this is doing a solid job setting the foundation. My skin looks more blurred. It looks nice and set, so I don't have anything to complain about. Since the concealer is more more matte and I have dry skin. I'm gonna forego the extra powder underneath the eyes, especially since I have a shade that's a bit too deep anyways, but it did a nice job of setting the face. This does not look like an affordable fit. Next, let's go with a bronzer. There was a few different bronzers that I was toggling between, but one of you guys recommended that I tried this, so I was like, you guys know best. This is the perpetually tan bronzer which looks like this i believe this is the lightest shade it looks nice and warm we'll see i hope it's not too orange i don't think i would layer too much of this on because i feel like it could run a little bit too warm on me but it's really not bad if you like something for warmth they do have contouring options if you're not looking for something quite so warm but generally speaking i really like their primer infused products i love their primer infused blush so I do like the consistency and formula that we have here. I think personally, I would prefer a bit more of a cool color, but this is very nice if you like kind of a sunburnt look. Still looks good. We'll hold off on blush and highlighter till I finish the eye. So I got the e.l.f. of course, <laughs> putty eye primer in cream. So I think this is supposed to be like the MAC paint pot. I don't know, this just sounded interesting to me. I was curious about it. So this is what it looks like. I'm just gonna use my finger. I do need to use my finger to warm this up because it is a little bit on the stiff side and I'm going to apply this. But I like eye primers like this because I do like the little added bit of coverage on the eyelid. I try not to put too much concealer on my eyelid because less product is better. So I want my base to have a little bit of color so that that can provide the coverage and 
not the concealer so I need less product to pile up on the lid. I'm so excited you guys because I'm trying my first really big elf eyeshadow palette that I've tried in a really long time. I forgot about the elf and J Kissa palette. I did just try that but that one was the first one in a really long time. And I picked this one out because Kelly Gooch loves this one and she created gorgeous looks with it but I was struggling because I wanted to buy more of these elf bite-sized eyeshadows. These are currently part of their best selling list because they are amazing. They're only three dollars and I think some are better than others but I really love truffles and rose water. These are my two personal favorites but they have such fun color stories. Cream and sugar is really bomb too. I don't know do you guys just see how fun and cute these are? Like I want to use these but I really want to use this palette. So we're gonna use the palette. I'm trying to think what direction do I want to go in today? I'm gonna do Oasis all over the crease. I think we're gonna go more blue today and put this all over the crease. And then we're gonna go into Abyss because I really wanna get some depth in this look. And I'm gonna go very simple with these shadows today because of what I want to put on my eyelid. Kind of brighten up the blue here. We're gonna take Drip Drip and I'm gonna pop this shade on the outer half of the lid and it is a shimmery shade so it can be a bit hard to work into the crease oh i should have set my under eyes before going in with this shade actually if you're gonna use this shade just use a finger it's so much more impactful and you won't get fallout like i did so same thing on this side so spread it out with a finger then use your brush to kind of work her out but do you see how that just brightened everything up i'm also bringing this bright blue along my lower lash line as well it does take a little bit of working with now i'm going to take a little bit of tundra right here and that's going to work as our inner corner highlight like so it's really really pretty but if you use a brush it might fall down a little bit so you will find the best success kind of pressing it in with your finger the most exciting part you guys i'm gonna use this liquid glitter shadow in the shade mermaid shimmy so i already have one of these and i love it i think it's such a great affordable option for a liquid glitter shadow and they came out with new colors and i had to resist picking up like all of them because i don't need them but i did convince myself to get that glittery green shade so let's see how it looks on the eyes just felt like it would be the perfect way to finish off this look i think my suggestion for this shade would be don't use your finger to blend it out because it is pulling up a little bit but if you just use the applicator itself you're gonna get an opaque layer and just to kind of blend in the blue to the glitter shadow a little bit better i'm gonna take some of underwater right here on my finger we're gonna use this to bridge the blue into the green so i don't know if you can see but that really helped blend these two together and by the way this underwater shade is very very smooth and creamy that looks super good i do think the neutral shades of these work a little bit Better. It's just harder to create a colorful base, but this is really nice for a touch. I do really like it with this look. Let's move back into the face really quickly. So I did have to pick up two of these face duos. These are their bite-sized face duos. This was one of the most highly requested and recommended products that you guys said I get. I think the shade Lychee. I want to do that one. Just so you guys can see a difference in the shades. This one is white peach. We're going to start off with this. And these are so cute. They're $3. And I think they're a nice size for $3. Don't get me wrong. Like they're bite size, which is the purpose of them. And this is like a really decent powder blush formula. I think it's quite nice. Pretty color. And then I'm also going to use the highlight that's in here. Huh. Gets the job done. Very nice. I'm excited to try the other color. Like for $3, you can't beat that. So to line my eyes, I got both the No Budge Retractable Eyeliner. This one is a bestseller, one of their icon products right now. And then I got the Precision Liquid Liner. So we'll start off with the No Budge Retractable Eyeliner. This is just like a regular eyeliner. Mm -hmm. I don't know, it's an eyeliner. <laughs> I'm gonna put this in my waterline and instantly it deposited color, which sometimes that's a problem with eyeliners is that you'll find that they don't put much color into your waterline. <laughs> so 
got the job done. <laughs> and then now let's try the liquid liner. I have a liquid liner from them that I really like, but I haven't tried this one yet in this form. So this is just like a brush on liquid liner. I think this is my roommate's favorite eyeliner. Anyways, I'm gonna stop talking. The only thing with this eyeliner is it did take a couple of coats, especially in the parts where there is glitter, where I added that glitter shadow. And this happens with a lot of eyeliners and you can still kind of see it peeking through. So that's kind of the only thing I would have to say about that. Otherwise, I mean, it applied pretty easily. So I'm gonna put on mascara and the next product that I'm super excited to try are these faux mink lashes. I got them in the shade when you talk so much makeup that you call an eyelash style a shade. <laughs> Social butterfly. These do not look like cheap eyelashes, you guys. These look really bomb. So I'm just going to go off camera and apply these because it's going to take me 10 years. And then we'll be back to finish the lips. Guys, these lashes are like nice. All right, so I did pick out two products, one of which is definitely not going to match, but I got the Sheer Slick Lip Color in Dragon Fruit. This does not have a smell. Ooh, this is a really smooth, moisturizing, creamy formula. <gasps> I guess. Ooh, why did I pick this color though? <laughs> I would never wear this color. Oh, I really like the formula of this. I think I need other colors. I also just got a normal cream lipstick in the shade cream. Okay. Um, so this is just like a nude color. Oh, kind of 2008. Let me put on a lip liner. The formula itself is nice. Honestly, this color needs a lip liner, but it's not bad. It's just like a lipstick formula. Okay. And then finally, we're going to finish from the as if kit with the setting spray. So, oh, okay. She got a heavy mister. Definitely stretch your arm out for this. All right, so while that dries, I'm gonna get myself together and I will meet you back here. So here is the final look. Not bad, you guys. I love the glittery eyes. Anyways, so in honor of Elf's 16th birthday, we'd like to host a giveaway for you guys. So Elf is going to be giving away a Sweet 16 kit and a Poreless Putty Primer to one of you guys. So if you would like to win the prize, leave a comment down below of your favorite Elf product and if you haven't tried an e.l.f. product, what is the product that you would like to try most? The giveaway winner will be selected exactly one week after this video is posted. I will be contacting the winner on Instagram, so you must be following me on Instagram as well. It is Morgan Turner Makeup, so I can see if you aren't following me, so make sure you're following me on Instagram. Of course, comment down below. Also, sorry, forgot to mention this, don't know how, but when you put your comment, make sure you also put your Instagram handle. Otherwise, I won't know who to message on Instagram. So, favorite e.l.f. product and your Instagram handle. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel and that is how you can win. As far as my personal standout products that I really love for this video, I'm such a huge Poreless Putty Primer fan. Love it. Also, really enjoy their concealers. They have a great line. First impressions, the e.l.f. Instant Lift Brow Pencil. I think this is what I was most impressed by today. This was incredible. These new Sheer Slick Lipsticks. I like these a lot. And I also really enjoyed the Bite Size Face Duos. I mean, there was a lot that I really enjoyed, but these are the ones that when I put on instantly, I was like, oof, this is amazing. All right, you guys, that's all I have for today's video. Thank you again to Elf for working with me on this video. It was so much fun to finally do a full face of Elf. I've been wanting to do this for a long time. So if you guys aren't subscribed, to my channel already. I would love it if you would consider taking the time to do so and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys. Have a good one.